Hello everybody, this is JD. Somebody asked me a question today. Why do I want to be president? I looked at him and said, really? I don't. I really don't care whether I win or lose. Either way, I'm going to come out ahead. See, if I lose the 2016 campaign, I still win. But if I lose the 2016 campaign, you all lose. Then why am I doing this? <clears throat> something weird in me. Yeah, something's weird in me. I believe in people. I believe in people's rights. I believe in people's privileges. And I stand up for them. And I hear Congress constantly bickering between the Republican and Democrat Party, but not about the people. I say something's wrong there. It needs to be fixed. When I hear Speaker of the House like Nancy Polisky say, hey, I don't care whether they want it or not. They're going to get it. <clears throat> when I see police forces coming out, almost tanks <clears throat> and using military weaponry <coughs> on the people of this country and then our government condemns other countries for doing the exact same thing I say something's wrong something's not right and it's got to be fixed Now, I'm not a person who complains and complains and complains. I believe that if you see something wrong, you have a right to complain. But also, give us an idea of a solution. I see that completely ignores the people. I see government that is strictly a political machine and nothing more. <clears throat> I see a government that has no idea of what the Constitution's about, never mind upholding the Constitution. I see a government that's trying to in, in, institutionize. I know they say it's not a word, but I'm going to use it. Institutionize our country. <clears throat> everybody will have a place and everybody will fit in that place and that's where they will be. Anybody outside that don't belong, don't fit in. <clears throat> and I feel that's wrong. But you see, I'm 66 years old. Hopefully, to live to 80, which is 14 more years. And I'm gone. I'm out of here. So if I win the election, you, the people, win. Because it's going to be a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Well, it's going to kill me. Get the political parties out of our Congress and hand you, the people, back your government. The government shall be a servant of you, the people, not you, a servant of the government. That's why I'm running for president. Not because I want to be president. That never was one of my dreams. Never architectural engineer, and a successful Navy career. I retired as a chief, so that makes me a successful Navy career. And architectural engineer, well, I got a business associate's degree now, but uh, there's a lot of choices people make in their life.
Can I do the job needed for you people? Yes. Very easily I can do the job. I know that. You don't because you don't bother to know me. You can know me, but you don't. So if you ask me, why do I want to be president? I don't want to be president. I'm becoming president because I believe in you, the people, and you deserve the government that the Constitution describes, not Congress. You deserve to have a government that serves the people and not the people to serve the government. So as you can see, some of you guys out there say, oh, he's a jerk, he'll never be president. It doesn't really matter, one way or the other. It is, are you going to win or are you going to lose? That's the question. Are you going to continue on with quote-unquote change? Obama's change, Republican, Bush was change. Everybody's change, change, change. Or are you going to go on a different path? Someone who sees the country as a needing help. And it needs help from the people. I know what leadership is. I know what the responsibility I am taking on will be. Yes, I said the responsibility. That's something Obama don't know. Because it's everybody else's fault that everything in the world is going wrong. It's not Obama's fault. When I get sworn in, it's going to be my responsibility. I don't care what Obama did before. I don't care what Bush did before him, and I don't care what Clinton did before that, and I don't care what the other Bush did. But I take that oath right then and there. Everything and anything is my responsibility. And it shall be handled with you, the people, in mind. I don't want no libraries after I die saying this is J.D. President so-and-so. No. I don't want no book contracts after I'm in office. No. I really don't care one way or the other on the presidential election. I care about you. But if you don't give a crap, then that, that's the way it shall be. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about you, but you don't understand it. If you want to make a difference, you're going to have to vote. If you want the revolution, you got to take the horn, bull by the horns. You have to vote. But you've got to weigh your vote very strongly. Democracies and republics only succeed when the people who vote are smart enough to be reasonable and search for their best candidate. You let the political machines, you let the corporations, you let the rich tell you who your candidate's going to be. Expect them to be in favor of the political machines, the rich, and the corporations, not you. You let the media, which gets paid by the rich, tell you who to vote for. Expect to get nothing. If you want something, you need a man who's there for you, all of you, not for himself, but for you. That's the only reason I'm running. I do not have anywhere inside of me dreams of being 
president written in history books or anything like that. That's none of my concern. My only concern is you, the people. So if I lose, is it a tragedy to me? No, not even the slightest. But it's going to be a catastrophe to you. That is the truth. Look at the present course of our government under these political parties. It doesn't matter which one you choose. They're all heading the same way. One may use a capital I, one may use a small I. One may use a dot over, one may cross the T. It's still the same, same old same. I'm different and a different path. Read my writer and see what it's about. So, that's why I'm running for president. Not for me. But strictly for you. And if you don't believe it, that's your problem, not mine. Thank you. This is JD.